last time was in London, the previous time was in Istanbul, so we're meeting all over the world. All over the world. <laughs> Great. Welcome, Tim, to Natka. It's really good to see you in Mumbai oh, and India. It's good to see you again. Thank you <laughs> so much. Last time was in London. The previous time was in Istanbul. So we're meeting all over the world. All over the world. <laughs> uh, you had a really great and inspiring lecture, uh, not only about how you use AI, but also how you are shifting this towards uh, emerging it with architecture practice. So first of all, uh, it's, please introduce yourself and tell us what you do with your practice STF. Sure, yeah. So I'm Tim Fu. I'm an architectural designer. And uh, recently, as uh, Hamid has said, started my office uh, in London, Studio Tim Fu. And we are a team of architects and uh, computational designers specialized uniquely in the use of artificial intelligence in the process of architectural design. So it's very interesting. We're doing a lot of research and exploring how we're able to do that with AI. And uh, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, that's great. And uh, how do you use AI and computational tools in your design workflows? And the type of the, the type of the projects that you're doing as well uh, differs from different scales as well. Can you briefly tell us how you embed and uh, integrate this these tools in your design workflows? Yeah, I think with regards to different types of projects and scales, there is always like a common approach with AI. Especially right now, we have you know, diffusion models that you can readily use to convert from text and ideas to architectural designs and uh, visions. So that process, we can produce a lot of visuals. And from those visuals, you can engage early discussions with clients. You can uh, provide options. You could uh, iterate upon your current existing options. So it expedites the whole process of the early design conversations. But of course, we can also talk about how AI is dealing with the technical parameters, how now we can use machine learning to delve into the data sets, the quantifiable uh, data sets that we can optimize for the different as vast aspects of architecture, going from structure to like um, environmental to other contextual elements. So really, AI has a lot to gain in, in the, or architecture has a lot to gain in the domain with AI. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're one of the first role models of architects who are using AI deeply in their work and who also got some, uh, like, got being well known about the usage of AI in architecture. So what do, what do you see the future of practice is headed with this in the emergence of AI tools in architecture? Well, obviously, I think many of the stuff I already mentioned prior to the question are already things that I think are readily available and they are currently being already adapted by quite a lot of architectural firms. So it really isn't that we're the only ones. We might be sort of trying to lead the race in one sense or the other, but I am looking at the whole industry slowly waking up and realizing that this is going to be an everyday scenario and you have to adapt or die, if you will. So it's definitely something that's going to be commonplace later on. What I think is the future will hold is that as AI improves, our ability to use it will improve. But ultimately, we are reliant also on the overall tech industry, right? If the AI improves a lot further, we can take the new technologies and understand how to use it to our benefit. So we're piggybacking off of this entire sort of industry um, ability to improve AI. And it's not just architecture, it's in tech, it's in humanities. All sorts of things. Incredible. Looking forward to it. And what is your advice for young professionals and those people who are recently graduated and they're emerging with the uh, practice quite recently? Can you share a piece of advice? Sure. Yeah, I think, you know, judging from my own experience, I have to say when you're young, there's a lot of advantages, right? So do not feel like that you are just there to learn and pick up what everybody tells you and teaches you. Really something as revolutionary as AI comes along once in a lifetime. And you are just as, you know, I would say just as a square one as all the directors and all the most qualified individuals in this architectural domain. We all really start fresh with this new technology with a new fresh set of mind and eyes. So 
the reason why you know we established our firm and been able to compete, even though we're such on average a very young team, is because you know when a new technology like this comes along, it kind of evens out the playing fields. So when you're young, just explore the technology. Do not force yourself to follow certain restricting yourself with a certain you know protocol or way of architecture how it was practiced because we don't know how it will be practiced and you will find out great and final question what do you think the conferences like natcon is helping the community in uh finding the ways or spreading the knowledge about the recent tools or recent developments in the practice in architecture well i think you know to be able to really unite all of us who uh do me once a while in these conferences that's a huge benefit you know because you're really putting a lot of different specialists and talents from all over the world and to communicate and talk and disseminate knowledge and also to really interact with the uh community so I'm really thankful for this opportunity. And, you know, India is a beautiful place with a lot of very, um, a lot of architecture interested people, and they are very keen about technology and how it moves forward. So I really embrace that mindset. And I think we're in a great place to um, be exploring that with the individuals here. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, it was it's a, a nice pleasure. Talk. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs>